My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, we keep hearing about taqwa. And usually translated as either righteousness or fear of Allah. With these translations, the real sense of the world, word, I think, is not fully conveyed. So I thought today I will remind myself As well as my brothers, I'll share my understanding of taqwa so that we can be on the path of taqwa to at least qualify to succeed in the akhirah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ حَقَّ تُقَاتِهِ That O people who claim to be mu'min, be on taqwa of Allah the way it should be. The way it rightfully be.
When this ayah was revealed, <coughs> the companions of the Prophet, they were terrified. Who can fulfill <coughs> the, in true sense the rightfulness of whatever we owe to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So they were, if I can use this word, they were terrified and confused. How we can fulfill that? So my dear brothers and sisters, we need to understand this word. Because in the subsequent Part of the ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the answer and clarified the answer further in one of the ayahs of Sunatul <coughs> Taqabun. Allah says, وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ That makes sure you do not pass away, you do not die, you do not leave this world unless you are in a state of submission to Allah, unless you are a Muslim. Once in the court of Umar, Umar ibn al-Qattah, the discussion was going on that what is taqwa? Everyone was giving his opinion. Ubay ibn Ka'ab was sitting at the side, didn't say anything. And Ubay is that companion for whom Allah's Prophet said, Wa akra'uhum. Ubay ibn Ka'ab, the one who knows the Qur'an the most, is Ubay ibn Ka'ab. So Umar asked Ubay, you didn't tell us your opinion. So Ubay says, radiallahu ta'ala an, O Amir al-Mu'mineen, Taqwa to me is that life is a journey and on this journey you have to pass a forest which has no path and it is full of high grass and thorny bushes and dangerous creatures. Now when you are passing through that forest, you make sure that your foot does not fall on, you know, onto a poisonous creature and your clothes, your garments do not entangle with the thorn in the thorny bushes. So you save yourself until you have passed that journey past the extent of that forest and you reach your manzil, your destination. This is taqwa. It comes from the three-letter root waqa formed into yaqi wa yaqayatan meaning to save someone else. <coughs> to save someone. But when, once it comes on the rhythm of Bab Ifal, it becomes evil taqa, which transforms into it taqa when Bao and Ta join together by the rule of Arabic. 
So when it becomes ittaqa, it means to save yourself. So taqwa is saving yourself so that you succeed in the offer. Save yourself in this dunya from its temptations, from its ills, from transgression against the rules and guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which He has sent through His Prophet. This is taqwa. Now, this ayah in Surah Al-Taghavun, which was like a consolence for the companions, when this ayah was revealed, so now they know that what Allah is asking of them. Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, O those who have iman, who claim to be mu'min, ittaqullah, have taqwa of Allah, save yourself from what Allah beholds for you in the akhara, وَلْتَنْزُرْ نَفْسٌ مَا قَدَّمَتْ لِغَدْ And make sure you be watchful, every one of you be watchful what they send for themselves for tomorrow. And what is tomorrow? Is Akhir. So be watchful, Allah is saying, be watchful what you send for yourselves for tomorrow. Sorry, this is Surah Asha. What taqullah, and again stresses, and have taqwa of Allah, inna Allah qabirun bima ta'amaloon, indeed, he knows, he takes into account whatever you do. So whatever we do, even if we have a rationalization for it, Allah knows about it in true sense. So we make sure, we do our utmost that we perform in this world so that we are not ashamed. We are not dishonored in Akhira because we came here with this position that, O oh Allah, we will serve the purpose with which you are sending us to this dunya so that we can qualify to succeed in the Akhara. Akulu Kauli Haza was the Purullah Hali, while Akum Walisa is a Muslimina Walisa. ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ به من كل شر الله سبحانه وتعالى had mentioned in سورة تغابن <clears throat> okay. 
think I might have misplaced it, but أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فاتقوا الله ما استطعتم واسمعوا وأتيوا وأنفقوا خيرا لأنفسكم ومن يوق شح نفسه فأولئك هم المفلحون الله سبحانه وتعالى told the companions and through them to all Muslims who claim to be mu'min and who are seeking to be on the path of taqwa that Allah is saying so be on taqwa what, how much you are able to what your ability allows you to and what is that Allah says, Wasma'u, what you hear from our orders through our Prophet, you follow them, obey them. وَأَنْفِقُوا خَيْرًا لِأَنْفُسِكُمْ And spend from whatever we have given you on the purpose that we bestow upon you, because this is what is best for you. وَمَنْ يُوكَ شُحَّ نَفْسِي And because one has attraction towards dunya, towards the possessions, towards their own lives, so that attraction is shuh. So وَمَنْ يُوكَ شُحَّ نَفْسِي So whosoever could not save himself from his own desires, They will fail. But one who does, فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ So they would be the ones who would succeed in the Akhirah. I also, in this second part of the Qutbah, want to remind you there's a chance that one can have, one we can have, to propagate and, and be an example to our other community mem- members of the other faiths through an activity, a community activity, through Share Center. They, are, they have arranged and organized a Day of Dignity Next Saturday, not tomorrow, Saturday after that, at Pam Miller Downtown Arts Center from 9 a.m. to 4, where there will be distribution of gifts to the community members who come there. There will be free medical camp, and there will be food. So, I urge that everyone should participate and become an ambassador of Muslim community to the rest of the community in their best way. So, I hope that you will all participate. Amma ba'd, inna astakal hadithi kitabullah wa ahsanul hadi hadi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وشر الأمور مخلصاتها وكل مخلصة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم Dear brothers and sisters let's take Gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then supplicate to Him. Alhamdulillah, illadi hadana lihada, wa ma kunna li nahtadi alawla an hadana Allah. Allahumma gfir lil mu'minin wal mu'minat, wal muslimin wal muslimat, bal ahyaun minkum wal amuat, innaka mujibu al-da'wat. 
اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اجتنابه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم الهمنا رشدنا وعذنا من شرور انفسنا اللهم انصر من نصر دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واخذل من خذل دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ربنا افرغ علينا صبرا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين امين يا رب العالمين عباد الله ان الله يأمر بالعدل والاحسان وايتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروه يذكركم واستغفروه يغفر لكم واتقوه يجعل لكم من امركم مخرجا واقيموا الصلاه